Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss HTML DOM tree and its terminologies. I suggest you people to watch this video and understand everything carefully because whatever you understand in this video will help you to understand upcoming few video tutorials. So let's get started. First I go to start, say notepad, I click on the notepad, you can see that the notepad got open. In this I write a basic HTML structure, so less than exclamation mark, doc type HTML, opening HTML tag lang equal to en, then I say closing HTML tag, inside that I write opening head tag, closing head tag, then opening body tag and then closing body tag. In the head section I am going to write meta care set equal to utf8 close. I save this file, file save as. I save the file at desktop with the name default.html both sides I put double quotation and click on save button. I minimize the notepad you can see that default.html page got created. I right click on it say open with the Firefox. You can see that default.html page got open. I reduce the size. Now I set the title. So let me go to the notepad and here I say title title is going to be dom tree demo closing title file save go to browser and refresh you can see dom tree demo is set as a title in the body section i am going to create some code and we see the output and then later we draw the dom tree you can see here i am writing a div opening div closing div now this div is going to contain a header h e a d e r opening header and closing header in the header i am going to create h2 h e a d h e a d i n g heading text closing h2 file save go to browser and refresh you can see heading text got displayed then below i say here paragraph i say here paragraph text closing p tag file save go to browser refresh you can see the paragraph text got displayed similarly i say here a h r e f one more element i am creating i say here hash nowhere to go and then I say here hyper text closing anchor tag. Let me indent so that we can see the code little bit properly. Okay. File save go to browser and refresh. You can see hyper text also got displayed. Below this header I am going to create one more div closing div and in this we are going to have paragraph and anchor tag. So I am going to paste that code here. Now we have here one paragraph and one anchor element in the div tag so file save go to browser and refresh so we have paragraph text and hypertext below that I create footer opening footer tag and closing footer tag within that I am going to put same elements h2 p and anchors file save go to browser and refresh you can see now we have again heading text paragraph text and hypertext Let's go to the word document that I have here, HTML DOM tree. We know that for every HTML code, we can draw a document object model tree or DOM tree. Browser maintains a DOM tree for every HTML page. The DOM tree is not only used for selecting elements in CSS, it is also used in JavaScript for accessing the elements or adding behaviors to HTML elements. So understanding the DOM tree is the most important friends. DOM tree is drawn based on the parent and child relationship present between HTML elements. I am going to discuss about how do we draw the DOM tree based on the parent and child relationship. Let's get started here actually I have written a DOM tree for this sample code that is I have written a DOM tree for this part of a code okay this part of a code div which has a header another div and a footer okay let me talk about this code and how do we draw a dom tree for this code here you can see that the first element we have is a div so when i draw the dom tree for this sample code the div is going to be the root node you can see i have a oval shape within that i have written a div element then in the div we have header another div and a footer you can observe that in the next level i have written a oval with header a oval with div element, a oval with footer element and I connected them by straight lines. This header, div and footer 
are going to be children of the div element if you observe carefully in the header we have h2 element p element and a element you can see here in the next level i have written h2 element p element and a element wrapped in oval shape and connected by straight lines to the header node and h2 p and a are going to be children of the header node and this header element is going to become a parent for h2 p and a element similarly this div is going to become a parent for header div and footer elements now in the div element we have p and a element you can see in the next level i have written p and a in the oval shape and connected to the div element by straight lines so these div and a are going to become children of this div element similarly in the footer we have h2 p and a so i have written here h2 p and a in the oval shapes and connected by straight lines to the footer node all these h2 p and a are going to become a children of the footer and the footer is the parent of h2 p and a element one of the most important thing you need to observe is as and when you write a code one level inside then you have to write in tree one level down that html elements so one level inside you have to write one level down those html elements in the tree so that is all about how do you draw dom tree for a given html code i hope you guys have understood now i am going to discuss some of the important terminologies about the tree so that you get a clear idea a tree is a finite set of nodes a node in the tree are represented by oval shape you can observe here each oval shape is actually known as a node so a tree is a set of nodes a tree is a set of nodes and nodes are represented by oval shape you can say every html element as one node actually okay let's proceed further nodes are connected with one another by straight lines known as edges you can see in the dom tree that nodes are connected to one another by using the straight lines they are known as edges friends they are known as edges next what we have first node or topmost node in the tree is known as root node the first node or the topmost node in the tree is known as the root node let's proceed further a node containing single child or multiple children is known as a parent node in this case the div has three children header div and footer hence div is a parent node for header div and footer nodes similarly here for h2 p and a elements the header node is the parent node because it has three children similarly for this div we have p and a children so the div is a parent node h2 p and a are connected to the footer so footer is a parent node parent node has three children in our case here the footer node hope you guys have understood what is a parent node next a node containing no children is known as a leaf node in our dom tree here all these nodes you can see they don't have any children right hence the last nodes in the tree they are known as leaf nodes the leaf nodes are not going to have any further tree or they don't have any children the next point to understand is ancestors of a node ancestors of a node or any node visited in the path from the selected node to the root node that is parent grandparent grand grandparent any node visited up to the root node are considered as ancestors friend you can see here for this h2 element the ancestor nodes are if i draw a path or if i move from the h2 h2 elements to the root node any node that are visited are known as ancestors so for the h2 we know that header is the parent and div is a grandparent parent grandparent these are ancestors friend if there are more nodes in the middle they are all considered as ancestors so remember that when you draw a path from the selected element to the root node any element or any node visited in the path from the node to the root node are considered as ancestors so ancestors are parent grandparent grand grandparent or any node visited from the selected node 
to the root node are considered as ancestors. I hope you guys have clearly understood what are ancestors. Next, we need to understand descendants of a node. Descendants of a node are any node falling under the selected node tree. You can say here as the header node has its own tree. The div has its own tree. The footer has its own tree. You can observe that carefully. Here actually we have one big tree. In that big tree we have three sub trees. One for header, one for div, one for footer. We need to understand here that who are the descendants for a node. Descendants for the node are direct children, children's children or any node that can be reachable from the selected node up to the leaf node is considered as a descendant node. In this example, for this div, the descendant nodes are direct children. So, header, div and footer are direct children of this div element. Similarly, h2, p, a, p, a, h2, p, a, all these elements are children's children. So, all these elements, all these elements are descendants of the root node that is the div elements. Hope you guys are understanding what are descendants. Very simple. For the header node, let's consider for this header node, the descendants are direct children which are H2, P and A. There are no children's children at present. So, for this header, only H2, P and A are descendants friends. Similarly, for this div, descendants are P and A. For footer, H2, P and A are descendants. For the main div, all these elements are descendants friends. We need to understand this. Descendants are direct children, children's children or any node that can be reachable from the selected node to the leaf node considered as descendant node. That means if you draw a path from div to header, header to h2. So these are descendants. Similarly, if you draw a path from here to here, these are descendants. So anything that you can reach from the root to the last leaf node are all considered as the descendants. Only the selected node is not considered as a descendant. So remember that children's children's children, children's children's children up to the leaf node are all considered as descendants. Hope you guys have understood ancestors and descendants difference. Next. Two or more nodes with the same parent are known as siblings or you can say brothers or sisters. Two or more nodes with the same parent. In this example, H2, P and A all are having the same parents. Hence, they are considered as siblings or you can say brothers. Similarly here, P and A are having the div as a parent. So, P and A are siblings. H2, P and A have the same parent footer hence h2 p and a elements are considered as siblings or brothers or sisters also the header div and footer are having the same parent which is the div hence they are considered as siblings or you can say brothers or sisters also we should understand another terminology adjacent siblings h2 and p are adjacent siblings friends they are one beside another you can see p and a are considered as adjacent siblings whereas h2 and a are not adjacent siblings they are siblings but they are not adjacent siblings because they are not one beside another there is one more sibling in middle this p and a are adjacent siblings this h2 and p are adjacent siblings this p and a are adjacent siblings this header and div are adjacent siblings these div and footer are adjacent siblings Hope you guys have understood the difference between siblings and adjacent siblings. So in this video tutorial, we understood how we draw a DOM tree for a given HTML code. And we understood that trees are drawn based on the parent and child relationship. We understood what is known as a root node, what are parent nodes, what are leaf nodes, what are ancestors of a node, what are descendants of a node, what are siblings adjacent siblings. I suggest you people to watch this video. Try drawing yourself some DOM tree for some example code so that you can understand. And also write down who are ancestors, who are descendants, who are, uh, what is a, what is a root node in your example DOM tree. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning 
keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial